Right, so today we are turning these bobbins into some custom made ones. These are some cheap ones that just come with a quorum set that I bought. And we're going to turn them into some custom Lego ones. If I don't drop it. A bit like these. Very simple to make. And very good. I mean, if you've got kids, they can absolutely love these. And if you've got loads of Lego men left over like I have, as you can see, I've got a few here. Got a few Lego men there. And we're going to get some of these on some more bobbins. We're going to pre drill them all and then they can be interchangeable. As you can see, that's in the top there. I can quite easily unscrew the top of that. And where was the one I pre drilled earlier? And then we can just reattach that in another one like that. And that's not going to go anywhere. That's solid. We're going to super glue all the heads down and the, and the bodies because they're still detachable at the moment. So we'll super glue all them down so it's more solid. And again, with the bottom, I can take one of the... Uh, I can take that part, the chain part of it, and actually unscrew it from there. And re-screw that one in his foot. Nice and simple. Right, let's show you how I've been doing nice. Let's get a Lego man. <clears throat> and as you can see, where's the uh, camera? As you can see, we've got the hole in the top there. And all I'm going to do is take, at the moment I'm using a 4mm masonry bit. Uh, the reason I'm using the masonry bit is because it's got the sort of spaded head on the end and that just gives just the right amount to push in. So what we're going to do is just going to drill into the top of there as gently as possible. Right, that's gone through. Next, take a flat file and you just want to take, you see that lip, you just want to take that lip off so the, the head is actually flat. And then we're going to get there, we're just going to keep messing about with that until that's exactly nice. With a more profiled one, and then I can I can be a little bit more exact. Getting that nice and flat. I'm just doing this as, as an example for the moment. So then we're going to get the actual line clip itself. we're going to try it and if it doesn't quite go no, we're going to take the head off of the man as you can see that's a triangle triangle profile file I'm just going to put that in there and just slightly get that little wiggle clean it up and do it too much and then try the clip again you don't want to take too much plastic off. I've, you can take plenty off, but you can't put any back on. So do it bit by bit, and then just work that in there. If you have got a tap and die kit, that might actually be more beneficial to you. But I don't, so I'm doing it the best way that I can for the moment. And as you can see, that is now in there nicely. If it doesn't sit too flat, take it back off and file it back down again, any, any raised points. But then that is done. So you can stick that back on your man there. And there we go. Next part, the foot. 
what I've been doing with this is I always go with looking at left foot so we'll be going on this foot just to try and keep everything uniform as it's sitting on the on the actual um, buzz bar <coughs> again four mil piece and we're going see if I can get this on the camera I know I've got the light from the window behind me as well we're going to go in flat and then we're going to push the back of it the back of the drill piece towards the toe so the front of it wants to try and stick out the hole at the back and all we're going to do is sit that in there so it sits nicely drill but then you rock left and right so you're causing like a well for a few seconds uh, I can't really see this on the camera too well but it has caused a bit of a it's taken off the the flat edge that's in there you'll see once you've actually got the Lego I mean if you look on that foot there you can see that it's a slight flat edge it sort of dog legs out and all we're doing is removing that so then we're going to take this back off of here and we're going to try it in there And it fits, first one. So there we go. That's how easy that is. I've done that in about five minutes flat. Um, so yeah, we can try this other stuff as well, but I'm gonna carry on doing the Lego Men. I'm gonna do it, so I've got a load of interchangeable ones. And I'm gonna let my boy have these. And he can, uh, he can, yeah. <laughs> He's got a customizable um, bobbins now. So anyway, guys, I hope this has been helpful. I'm gonna leave, um, a couple of photos along the line of some of the others that I've done and um, yeah this has been useful guys hit the like and subscribe button for us and we'll, um, we'll see you again soon with some more tips and tricks anyway guys till next time tight lines <laughs>